So this is the Palalu Maestro Control Center. It shows that I am connected currently to a, uh, a controller or a micro maestro. These are your servos here, zero through five. You can name them, right, which is a good idea. So I named uh, mine, obviously, nod, pan, tilt, so on and so forth. Um, right now they are not enabled, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and it automatically gives you what the position is automatically centers them for you so this shows uh, 1500 servos uh, typically give ranges of 75 when it's all the way to one side 225 when it's all the way to the other and 150 when it's in the center so 1500 shows that you can get some pretty pretty uh, uh, intricate tweaking. So then basically what you do is you click on this and you move it and you can hear that servo moving back and forth. So now this is giving uh, ranges of 992 to 2000. Um, and that's fine, just as long as you know what kind of your, your end ranges are on those. Now you see how quickly that little blue ball is moving, right? So if I play with the acceleration, I increase the acceleration. When I move this, that little blue ball takes a little bit more time to get there. And it slows it down a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to center this again. Find that's the easiest way to center this. We're going to take acceleration down to zero, and I'm going to increase speed. Now, when I move this, see it takes a lot longer for that ball to move. So, and that is what I did with with my uh, with Aggie, is that I increased that speed so that the uh, the movements weren't so brisk and abrupt, right? Got it to a more manageable um, um, movement a more natural looking movement I guess is what I'm trying to say so now I'm going to show you what to do here if you see down at the bottom it says save frame zero okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to decrease take the speed back down to zero and I'm going to go and I'm going to go save frame zero now I'm going to go to sequence and so it shows there's my frame zero and this is the duration which is 500 milliseconds so about a half a minute um, on Aggie I had the duration around 2,000 milliseconds, so around two seconds to complete that um, frame. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that. Now the interesting thing about this is that from every frame from this point on, the duration will be 1,000 because I've set it at 1,000. So I will do another And I will save that frame and I will do another one and I will save that frame and I will do another one and I will save that frame 
Okay, so when I go back to sequence, you see that they were all 1,000 in durations. I'm going to click play in a loop and play sequence. So there they are playing the sequence that I did. Okay, I'm going to stop sequence. Now I'm going to go back here and show you something. I'm going to do one more sequence. Actually. And I'm going to increase my speed to 15, which actually slows the movements down. Oh, I'm going to increase that one to 15 as well. And I'm going to save that frame. Okay, we're going to go back here and play sequence. So now, do you see what's occurred there? The two where I changed the duration or the speed on them, through all of their frames, they are going to be at that slower speed. The other two, because I didn't change them, are going to continue to be at the speed that was originally programmed into them. Now, I don't know if there's a way to change that so that you can have the speeds of, of uh, these servos change just for that particular frame. I'm not sure, but that's the way it is running right now. Okay, so the thing you can do is that you can name this sequence then. Um, I named uh, mine for the witch, but well, I named it witch. Um, you can um, uh, save over current frames. You can, so if you want to say, um, have a, a witch, well, like for instance, mine, I can, if I had it so it looked one way and then held that for a bit. So I just copied over or saved over the current frame. So it looked like it was actually staring at something for a moment and then looked away instead of having this kind of continuous mo movement. Um, the only other thing that I, I believe that it can do um, is that you can uh, copy frames and uh, paste them in. So for instance, one of my witches that I'm going to be building or three axis max I'm building for my stirring witch I want her to look down into the cauldron on a regular basis say every three to eight frames and so what I can do then is just copy that particular frame and add it in so that I don't have to uh, you know find out what exactly those settings were all the time I can just um, do that now if I just run this as soon as I unplug the Palalu from the USB, it is it has not saved that to uh, to the the Micro Maestro itself. In order to do that, you have to say copy all sequences to script, and that will then actually save it over onto the uh, the Micro Maestro. So the one thing that's nice about this is that you can have everything set up, right? Every time, as long as you have a servo hooked in to the, um, to the Maestro, uh, when you move that little cursor, the servo moves. So you can actually see what your, uh, your three axis movement is going to look like as you're doing it as you're programming it in which is which is a nice feature about that so very user friendly very easy to use um, I've been uh, really really happy with this uh, the price is right uh, twenty dollars for that cost me about ten bucks to get it up here I bought that 
that last one when it was on uh, on sale on their Black Friday sale for ten bucks. So you know, for for twenty bucks um, on sale or thirty bucks when it's not, you got a, a really easily programmable unit. Um, the one section that was on there with it showed the baud rate, and I know you use baud rate to control or to talk to the uh, to the, cert, the the micro maestro. Um, so if you were going to program it, you would have uh, that baud rate would have to be in there somewhere in order for it to recognize uh, that this is a unit that you're talking to. If you're using, say, a pickaxe, right? Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just write them on the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Um, you know, at the end of the day, five servos was a little over 80 frames and about three minutes of movement. Um, when I used, was doing only three servos, I got over 100 frames and almost four minutes of movement out of it. So you know lots of uh lots of potential there in that unit anyways um that's pretty well it i hope everybody's having a great day i hope th this was uh was helpful with this uh micro maestro and uh have a great one take care